All rise. Hear ye, hear ye. The Honorable Judge Joel presiding. Please be seated. Botts versus Commando Cody, docket 212-349-7A. Your Honor, the Botts will prove that the defendant, Commando Cody, is guilty of the following felony charges. Failure to follow a proper flight plan, reckless endangerment of the public, breaking the laws of physics and gravity, and acting as an officer of the law, and uh, simply bad acting. Commando Cody, how do you plead? We plead hardship, Your Honor. My client, Commando Cody, has more than paid his debt to society by being trapped in a pathetic serial. Not to mention, he's kept the world safe from Krog and his death ray. I object. Overrule. Present your case, Mr. Crow. Mr. Cody, in episode one, you tweaked your nipples and launched yourself into the air without first contacting the nearest FAA control tower, didn't you? Objection! The use of the term nipples is imprecise, incorrect, and misleading, though I'll admit, mildly provocative. Sustain! Mr. Cody, your flying stunts may look realistic on the silver screen, but in fact they are nothing more than simple blue screen tricks. Nothing more than Hollywood hocus pocus hoo-ha. Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Mason is yet again engaging in another of a series of courtroom gymnastics. Uh, Your Honor, I'm simply trying to prove that Mr. Cody is nothing more than a fictional character in a lame series. Or a lame character in a fictional series. Your Honor, I shall prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Commando Cody is, in fact, real. I have here millions of letters delivered by the U.S. Postal Service who are never, or at least seldom, wrong. Letters from children of America who believe in Cody and what he stands uh, for. Uh, I object, Your Honor. My case on Cody is based on hearsay and rumor. Really? I thought it was uh, shoddy planning and poor thought. Well, they uh, help. Mr. Servo, where are these letters of which you speak? Hit it, Gambot. Uh, oh, out of I don't believe out of this. Out of order. You're out of order. He's out of order. We're all out of order. This courtroom is out of order. We, this country is out of we order. We got commercial side. Let's go. Out of order. Uh, and then the drunk guy says, I can't help being an idiot. I'm Canadian. <laughs> You're right. They're so pathetic, Mike. Exactly. Huh? Enough. There's been too much Canada bashing for far too long. I say no more. Don't you mean no more, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, man. They are so stupid. Stop it now. Instead, let us offer our northern brothers and sisters this song of tribute. Oh, I wish I was back in old Canada, a land which I never shall lampoon. How I pine for the ice covering Lake Manitoba and the beauty that is Saskatoon. I got one. Oh, I wish I was stuck in the hills of Alberta drinking beer with some big dumb guy trapping fur. As he scraped and he chiseled all the moose dung off his boots, I would learn that he's the prime minister. Oh, stop that. Oh, I wish I was in the land that gave us Peter Jennings, Alanis Morissette, Mike Myers too. Yeah. No, I take that back. I wouldn't go there even if you paid me. Oh, Canada, you are a place I must eschew. Now, this is not in the spirit that I intended. Oh, come on. Give in. I mean, after all, they gave us Ed the Sock yeah. and Rush. Yeah, what are you defending? They're such fiends. Okay, I'll try. All right, good go. man. Oh, I wish I was blowing up Prince Edward Island and going on to bomb Ontario. <laughs> the destruction of Canada and all of its culture is by far my favorite scenario. Okay, I mean, that's a little strong. You no, back no, you were right, Mike. This is much more fun. Just where the hell does Canada get off sharing a border with countries far superior to it? Yikes. Why, you lousy, stinking, francophonic, bacon-loving bastards. Your country's just a giant piece of... Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, I whoa, think whoa, that's whoa, enough. Please. I think we bunch should cam bot. Okay, thanks. All right. I'm sorry. I have no sense of proportion. I'm a disgrace to my uniform. Uh, no, that, that's okay. Now, calm down now. We mustn't hate. Mustn't hate. At least so overtly. Exactly right. Must disguise our hate just a little. Okay, yeah. we'll be right back. It's okay now, Dudley. Pardonnez-moi. People, place is... Oh, good. Uh, well, if you've all had a chance to look over the script, let's start on Crow, page. this better not be another stupid Earth versus Soup type of spec script, buddy. Tom, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Huh. I've streamlined, chopped, and channeled the spy movie genre to reflect 90s sensibilities. Well, you know, Crow, that sounds really interesting. Thank you, Joel. The market demands it, you know. Huh. Uh, Tom, you'll be reading the part of Sandy Windhamhill, the good-looking, in an androgynous way, super spy, who is in touch with his feminine side. What? Uh, 
I realize I'm asking you to play against type, but I Gee, think... Gee, that sounds really stupid, Crow. I can't foil the evil forces trying to conquer the world if I'm a dumb old sissy, oh, Bridges. Wait, wait a minute, uh, Servo. Let's just give it a chance. We'll just read Crow's treatment, okay? Uh, the Spy Who Hugged Me. Huh. Uh, Joel, you'll be reading a couple of parts, if you would. Sandy's love interest, Holly Affirmations, and the bad guy, Gary Diabolique. For God's sake, man, I want to drink martinis in Istanbul and utter glib bon mots in Moscow and dry with my feet while escaping thugs in Monte Carlo and meet girls in Eponema. The kind of things a super secret super spy is supposed to do. I support your owning those feelings. I support this. Top of page 12, Joel, your Holly. Okay. <clears throat> you understand, Mr. Wyndham Hill, that even though we are sharing a sexual tension between us, I must kill you. Um, Holly, thank you for being honest. Let me say that I think you're a really terrific dynamite lady, but right now I'm in a committed relationship with someone who's very special to me. Hmm. I don't believe this. Okay, Holly pulls a gun out of her purse. I'll oh, use my please. hand and says, Then you understand, Mr. Wyndham Hill. Nothing personal. Uh, boundaries, Holly, boundaries. Oh, Crow, I'm supposed to be a man who leads a life of danger. Servo, the only way around it is through it. Oh, okay, let's jump ahead a few pages. Sandy has carpooled with Gary Diabolique to the World Domination Headquarters. And Joel, you're Gary, and you're going to shame the world with your specially invented anti-Bradshaw device. So top of page 26, and... Thomas. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Diabolique, if you have a few minutes, I need to confront you on your shaming behavior. <laughs> oh, Mr. Big Wyndham Hill thinks he's going to save the world. Well, who do you think you are, mister? Uh, Gary, I feel you're upset with me. I know it's not about me, but about issues in your family of origin. You've got to be kidding me, Crow. Uh, so you think you know everything, Mr. Namby Pamby Damby, but gonna cry now, huh? Gonna cry? Um, I have to ask you to respect my boundaries. You don't get it, do you, you stupid moron idiot? I'm going to control how people respond to me. I am going to rule the world! Gary, that's really codependent. I can't believe I just said codependent! Oh, that's it. You completely defiled a revered film archetype, and you made me feel like a total buffoon. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, hey, Servo, new dress? No, Mike, I'm wee wee cute. In fact, I'm Dowling. <laughs> You're Dowling? What, wooden rods? Is I don't know it? what no, he's no, trying no, to No, 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 I'm Dowling. <laughs> Dow Dowling, he's Joe Dowling, artistic director of the Guthrie Theater. Uh, he doesn't wear I don't dress. mean to criticize. No, no, he's no, no you're stupid. It's very simple. I'm adorable. <laughs> you're endowable. Oh, I see, Mike. I think what he's trying to say is that if you and I wanted to set up an endowment, he's the guy no, to talk to. you stupid, oh. loathsome freaks. I'm precious. I'm as cute as a widow budding. <laughs> Oh, the Widow Buddig. You know, Carl Buddig pressed meat products. Oh, He's the widow. Oh, you make me sick. Look, just forget it, you couple of morons. I'm cute, okay? I'm cute like that scrawny little square head in the movie, but just forget it. The whole cute thing's in the crapper. I'm sorry, Tom. Oh, I know. can it, will you? Man, I need a belt and a smoke and starting to sweat right through the damn babushka. Genesis. That's unpleasant. Oh, BJ and the Bear are calling. Macho, macho, but I've got to be a macho. Hey, excuse me, miss. Hey, I've never noticed you on the ship before. I'm Tom Servo, man about satellite. You know, I know I look small and all, but I'm really built like a Cuisinart, at least that's what they tell me. You know, you're kind of quiet. I like that in a woman, really. You know, too many of the gals I know just like to rub exotic oils on me and fan me, you know. It's okay, if you know what I mean. Well, maybe you don't. I don't know. I need a change, though. I need a woman more my speed, and I noticed you have 11 of them. <laughs> oh. Did I offend you? I'm sorry. I see you're blushing. No, that tomato juice. I love a woman with juice in their head. It's really a turn-on to me, my little scientific calculator. <laughs> Ever gotten a wild hair and just filled your head with guacamole just for the hell of it? I'm the kind of robot who likes to throw caution to the wind, if you know what I mean. And if you do, please tell me. <laughs> hey! I see you've still got a power cord. I like a woman with a healthy power source. I really do. You know, I'm coming out a bit strong, I know, and I'm sorry, but I love your lines. God, you've got classic features. Crush, great, chop, whip. Baby, you've got it all. What? Oh, and a lovely singing voice, too. Oh, you do have it all. Joel, I'm in love. Joel, Joel, Joel. That's it. The gauntlet's been thrown. Nobody drinks from my what you, gal. What are you that, talking go, about, Tom? My gal. She, I'm in love and you're drinking from her. Go, Tom, go. Tom, it's go. a blender. It's oh. a blender. Blender. 
I knew that. Excuse me, miss. I've noticed you... Oh, excuse me, Mr. Coffee. Mm. Okay, you're all done. Now, listen, oh, don't take man. any food or water for the next three hours, all okay. right? Wow, Rico is suave over there. Why, thank you, my good fellow. I say, you're looking rather Jean-Claude Van Damme yourself. Huh? You really think so? Mm. You know, inside every servo is an Alan Steele waiting to get out. Okay, okay, Joe, ask me which way to the beach. Oh, Just right. hold <laughs> it a second, my beefy bots. You need one more accessory to really augment your ensemble. Huh? Huh? What? Say what? Yeah, huh? you need a new name that's as Big and brawny as your new upper body implants. All right. Well, what good is a tough guy without a tough guy name? Yeah, exactly. You know, the general rule of thumb is that you take a, uh, have a real virile first name like Alan, and then uh, a second name that sounds like some kind of hard surface, like Steel, Alan Steel. You get oh, it? Oh, I get it. Uh, okay, my new name is Drake Tungsten. Good. And you have to call me that, too. Okay, okay, okay. I dub me Russ Tile Floor. <laughs> well, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if that really works because that makes your middle name Tile and you'd have to put in quotation marks or parentheses or something. Oh. Yeah, and then that would make your last name Floor, which really isn't all that. Great. Okay, okay, how about this? Rick, R I C, Drywall. Rick, Drywall. Yeah. Well, Drywall really isn't that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not like, you know, concrete or uh, something. Yeah, Crow's hard. right. Uh, Drake. Uh, Drake's okay, right. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, hey, Tom, how about. Uh, Adam Plexiglass. Yeah, or uh, Vic Kevlar. Nick Pigard. Well, just forget it, okay? Jim J. Bullock. Now, that's not uh, funny. Just drop the whole thing. Just drop it now, okay? Well, listen, maybe you could be one of those tough guys without a tough guy name, like Sylvester Stallone or something. Oh, don't patronize me, Joel. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Tom, I hate to tell you, but you're, you just rejected your donor limbs. I know that. Don't you think I know that? I'm living it. I know it. I'm here. I'm living it. <laughs> hey, hey, Servo, I, I just thought of a good name for you. Really? What? Danny? No arms. Let me out! Hi, everyone. Mike Nelson here on the Satellite of Love with my buddy Crow. You're just in time to see Tom Servo's planetarium show. What luck. Welcome, space travelers, to the Tom Star Show. Let's all hop on board the Galaxy Shuttle and take a trip through our nation's solar system. We'll be traveling at about the speed of light, yes, well over 500 miles an hour. So, haha, <laughs> fasten your seatbelts. First stop, the planet. Mars! Take me to Uranus! <laughs> Mars, the brightest star in our galaxy. Hey, let's it, probe Uranus! Patience, <laughs> space traveler! We'll visit all the planets! What? Are you ashamed of Uranus? Crow! Gee, I'm just trying to do the show here. Excuse me, uh, I have some questions about Uranus. <laughs> let's save our questions for the appropriate question uh, and answer. Uranus is big and gassy, isn't it? <laughs> but, shut up! But ours is not the only planetary system! Servo. And we have to get to Uranus and wipe out the Klingons. Just shut up! Just shut up! Just shut up! Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Where'd he go? Our sergeant at arms, Joel. This is Black Shriner Leader Tom. Come in, boys, and cut the comedy. I'm in trouble here. Over. Ah, uh, yeah, Shriner Leader Tom. This is Red Shriner Joel at your back door with Neon Peon Crow and Toe. What's your twenty? What's my twenty? Sweet sons of Norway, man. My magic carpet's malfunction, and I'm stuck in front of the Robert Hall store on the main street. On top of that, I've run out of Jolly Rancher candy, and the kids are starting to look ugly. Uh, over. Ah, uh, eights to you, good buddy. This is the Neon Peon. I'm in your rocking chair. Hold tight, Shriner Leader. Joel and I are about to do a flyover. Hurry up, man. I'm running out of heart candy. Condition red. Send in the clowns. Oh, what's that? You so... <laughs> oh, man, Joel. He's totally off script. There's nothing that says anything about sobbing like a broken man. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. It says here, Tom says, Tight information, man. Those kids are all over me. Arg. It just says arg. It doesn't say anything about sobbing pitifully. I can't do it, guys. I just can't do it. I can't go through another sketch loosely based on some vague reference of the movie. There are only a few guys with fences in this movie and suddenly we're the Zahara Shriners riding flying carpets on Maxwell Street days. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Get me out of here. I don't understand. How is this sketch any different than anything else we do during a movie? Well, uh, uh, Crow, it's not the sketch. It's this movie. Look at him. He's 
just a <laughs> You're telling air. me there are absolutely no psychological footholds in this film. It's like trying to climb El Capitan. There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. Why? Why? Yeah, better to you than me. <laughs> oh, Crow, come on. Look at what you've done to him. Do you see what you've done to this guy? Come on. So, we're done, huh? Okay. No, we're not done. We've still got Gypsy. Why don't you go ahead there, girl? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Um, cheating by me. Cheating is bad. Richard Basehart is good. Well, huh. great. Well, that was very good, yeah, very I nice. thought. Ooh, spirited, yeah. succinct, very yeah, right nice. Yeah. <laughs> great, yeah. Can't we just hand these in, Mike? I mean, notify me by mail. No, Jeez, no, 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 it's your turn. Now let's hear it, come on. Oh, cheating. <clears throat> cheating is bad. Richard Basehart is so, how about some lunch? Hey, Crow, what? that was word for word the same report that Gypsy just gave. Wow, what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> it's, it's not exactly the same. I, I mean, the read was totally different. Uh, my downbeat was on Good. Uh, Gypsy's was on Richard. Stone him! Oh, Stone oh, him! Cheater! Oh, cheater! Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey just, calm down. Uh, calm down. You know, this is serious business, and we'll talk be about be it. But right we now, we've got a movie him. to get through, and that's <laughs> what we're going to do. We, we must demolate him! Get a match! Burn him! He must be Ah, movie time! Saved by the bell! They're called what? Slot cars? Yeah, or slots for short. I saw all the neat chase scenes in today's experiment, and I got nostalgic for my old slot car race kit, so I uh, retrofitted you guys with wheels and bingo. Hot slot butts. You're going to be going over 300 scale miles per hour. Wow, imagine. Well, we'll do it, Joel, but are you sure we're built to take the stress of 300 scale miles per hour? Oh, come on, Crawl. Have some pride, man. We're slots. We crave danger. We drink deeply of the deep draft. Come on! Of, of, uh, Joel, I seem to be having a little Watch problem, Joel. Watch out for that Joel. jump, Crawl! Uh, 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 I'm going backwards. Yes, so, uh, he made it! Uh, oh, uh, come on, Tom. Now, what is your problem? I don't know, man. Oh. If I knew that, I'd... Oh. Okay, try it again. Uh, there we go. Uh, Here comes that jump uh, again, Crow! Uh, no hands! All right! Uh, now, come on, Tom. You're losing and you look bad. Where's oh, Tommy? This, this is ridiculous. I feel like a milk truck! Oh! Here comes that jump, Tommy! Kicks, baby! Oh, brother. Oh, here we go. Oh, that really hurts. Oh, come on. <laughs> brother. Joel, this is ridiculous. I couldn't beat Margaret Dumont. On your left, Tommy! Oh, I don't know what your problem is. Crow's doing fine. I know. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you've got some major design problems what? here. I'm sorry. But I want to go 300 scale miles an yeah, hour. Yeah, come on, Barney Oldfield. Into the pits oh, with you. Let's go. Come oh. on. I was able to negotiate the chicane with no sacrifice in speed. We'll be right back. Rock around the Simba. Thank you, Mr. Dole. <clears throat> okay, my essay is entitled A Child's Christmas in Space. Uh, let me set the mood here. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. There. Ah. <sighs> It's quiet in the cold of our own little orbit, starless and Bible black. And as I look down on the big blue bean we would call home, I think it's so near, yet... Oh, I wish on that star, and I hope that in a little snow-covered house with a warm hearth and a loving family, maybe some kid is looking up tonight and wishing upon us. <gasps> oh, and how I hope sweet Santa will fly by tonight, because if he does, I'm going to reach right out and hug that big guy. Oh, for the sound of hooves against the steel hull of the ship. Oh, to see the rosy face of Santa in the portal offering me a Coke and a smile. Of course, his face would be rosy because it's a vacuum out there. I mean, Santa's heart would explode, but he won't feel it because his capillaries in his brain would pop like little Tom? firecrackers due to the blood boiling away in his veins like a pudding in a copper. Oh, the humanity! Zerba. Oh, his jolly old belly would start bubbling like a roasted Tom? marshmallow, eyes Whoa. bulging and popping up. And the reindeer, oh, the reindeer! Tom? He's floating like holiday floats in their turn, exploding Tom? in a hail of blood and entrails. Perhaps a boom! Dancer, Tom! Tom. Go hey! 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 Oh, hey. Oh, Tom! Oh, take it easy. Uh, Santa's going to be okay, buddy. You sure? Yeah, give him a little credit, okay? Oh, what a relief. Hi everyone, Mike Nelson here on Satellite Love. We're... Hey man. Oh, hey sir. What are you saying? I'm short, huh? What? No, I was going to ask where you've been. Oh, well, I had karate and I swung by the gym to lift. Because I had some extra time before picking up my hot new girlfriend, Christy, who will most likely wear her thong as she clings to me in the back of my Harley. Yeah. Eh, we're gonna make out in public a little. Servo, you look yeah. different. Hey, hey, you've got lifts in your hover skirt, don't hey, man, you? man, watch what you're saying there, man. <laughs> you do, you have lifts in your hover skirt. All right, that's it. Come hey, on, whoa, 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 whoa
Tom, I'm, I'm afraid you've got short man's disease, what? okay? It's the tendency for height challenge males to overcompensate for a perceived lack of machismo. So what, are you saying I'm short, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that is implicit. Oh, man. No problem, though. We just rub a little baby aspirin oh, no. on your oh, gums no. and you'll be fine. No, no, you'll fine. no, 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 no. There, there, that's better. We'll be right back. Can I keep my up, Chuck? We'll see, honey. Violet oh, shrimp, little God. baby short man. We'll see. Ah, so the movie and all the actors in it roast in hell. Yay! Oh, that's not... So, no more Sheila in her underwear, huh? No, I'm afraid not, Tom. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be. Because I'm gonna sit here, and I ain't gonna budge till I see Sheila in her underwear again. And not you, or the police, or the National Guard can drag me out of here. No, no, no. I don't care if you have to film scenes of her now. Today, 60 years old, grandmother of 12, uh -huh. I want Sheila in her underwear. Hold still, Tom. Hold still. Just gonna give you your medication. No, no. Yes, hold no, still. No, 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 Feel better? Yeah, I do. What was in those pills anyway? Bacon. Bacon, huh? <laughs> Worked great. I feel wonderful. Why is that conductor guy Merritt Stone been in more movies? He's pretty good. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I see you too have fallen into the trap. <laughs> yeah, right. But why are you dressed like Raleigh Fingers at a Playboy party? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Bro, I'm not sure, but I think huh? he's playing the role of Hercule Poirot, the great oh. detective. That is right, Joel. Mm. I suppose you are all wondering, wondering why, why I have gathered you. Don't you ever step on my line again, please. <clears throat> I am here to solve the great Matt Stone mystery. Uh, that's great, Tom, but we've got a letter here to read. It comes from a Pat oh, come Brock. Come on, guys, please. Okay, Tom, <laughs> what is the great Merritt Stone mystery? Ah, thank you, Joel. And now if you will grab the visual aid oh. I've prepared and follow along with me, please. Okay, got no it. No one is to leave the room. <clears throat> now then, we all agree that the Gary Busey-like conductor from the rebel set is Merritt Stone, right? Right. Wrong! Huh? How could you be so stupid you make me puke? Jeez, calm down. It's just Merritt Stone, Tom. <laughs> and what is it that led you pig dogs to the conclusion that it was Merritt Stone? Gypsy! Oh! Oh! Because he was in Earth vs. Spider and the Tormented? <gasps> Wrong! Oh! I, too, almost fell for that foolish trap. Joel? Merritt Stone's name appears in the credits to Earth vs. the Spider, the Magic Sword, and Tormented. Put them on the board, please. Okay, got Thank it. you. Mm -hmm. But the Gary Boosie conductor guy physically appears in Earth vs. Spider, Rebel Set, Giant Leeches, and Tormented. Something was wrong. They didn't match. I put my gray matter together, and I realized that Jack Coslin appears in the Magic Sword and the Earth vs. the Spider. <laughs> you have a lot of free time, don't you? Yeah. Quiet, fool, to the fool. <clears throat> Was it possible that Jack Coslin was actually Merritt Stone and vice versa? Y yes. No. Uh, no? Yes. <laughs> His name did not appear in the rebel set, the giant leeches, or tormented. I was back at the beginning. Then, they made a break in the case. Gene Roth's name appears in the credits of Earth vs. Spider, rebel set, giant leeches, and tormented. <laughs> I had my man. Gentlemen. I put it to you that Jean Roth is actually Merritt Stone. I'm so relieved. You, I plan to celebrate with a bottle of Chateau Marmont 52 and perhaps a uh, bit of dream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some hey, crackers hey, and... well, wait up here. Uh, if Jean uh, Roth is Merritt Stone and Merritt Stone is in the Magic Sword with Jack yes, Coslin, yes, yes, uh, couldn't yes. Jack Coslin actually be Merritt Stone and transitively Jack Coslin could be Jean Roth? No, 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 you silly man, because we have a visual idea of Merritt. Uh, but, but I mean, you don't uh, have a visual idea no. of Jack Coslin. Uh, not as such. Well, but, uh, well then Jack Coslin could be Merritt Stone. I, uh, uh, and if uh, Jack Coslin is Merritt uh, Stone and Merritt uh, Stone is in uh, Tormented uh, with Gene Roth, uh, then who is Jack uh, Coslin and couldn't uh, Jack Coslin uh, be uh, Gene Roth? We gotta stop doing that to that poor kid. What do you think, sir? <laughs> so, do, do either of you guys know any songs about stock footage that could get us through this? Oh, I know a song about stock footage. It goes like this. Da -da 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 -da. Eat it, movie! Whoa. Take this Whoa. stupid little Whoa. cockroach Mike, 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 and get... roll it up so tight okay. and then ram it okay, right okay, up here. Okay, 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 you're okay, you're okay. <laughs> it's all right. This movie sucks. This movie sucks. This movie sucks.
Rocks? Uh, I don't know. This movie, you know, I think this is the worst movie we've ever seen here. Oh, really? What about Robot versus the worse, Aztec Mummy? Worse. What about Sci Hackers? Worse. Cave Dwellers? Worse. Catalina Caper? Worse. Pod People? Worse. Hellcats? Oh, worse. Daddy O? No, worse. Mm, Rocket Attack USA? Worse. Earth versus the Spider? Oh, definitely worse. Ring of Terror? Uh, worse. It Conquered the World? Uh, uh, yeah, worse. Lost Continent? Oh, worse. Moon no. Zero Two? No, worse. Women of the Prehistoric Planet. Time of the Age. Worse, worse, worse. Wild Rebels. Worse. Stranded in Space. Worse. King Dinosaur. Worse. Mighty Jack. Worse. Rocket Ship XM. Worse. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Worse. The Unearthly. Yeah, worse. <laughs> Teenage Caveman. No way. First Spaceship on Venus. No, worse, worse. Space Travelers. Much worse. Giant Gila Monster. Well, a lot worse. The Mingchingo Conganglium. But, huh? Oh. Day. Teenagers from Outer Space was much, much better. Got City, ton worse. City Limits. Worse. War of the Colossal Beast. Worse. Amazing Colossal Man. Worse. Fugitive Alien? Worse. Mm, Fugitive Alien 2? Worse. Uh, Master Ninja? Not worse. Oh, really? Worse. Gamera? Worse, worse. Mm, worse, worse. Godzilla vs. Sea Monster? Worse, 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 Gamera worse. Gamera vs. Zigra? Worse, worse. Worse, worse, uh, worse, worse. Vs. Baragon? Worse, worse, uh, worse, worse. Gamera vs. Giron? Worse, worse. Mm, worse. How about uh, Castle of Fu Manchu? Okay, I'll grant you Castle of Fu Manchu was just as bad, but we've never done a worse film. Okay, we gotta go. Come on. Sorry to leave. Oh, no! If I ever get back to Earth, the first thing I do... See your family? Nope. I'm gonna hunt down Jerry Warren. Good. Slow down, you're gonna dislocate something. <laughs> Not since Dean Jones and the Love Bug, eh? <laughs> oh, he's leaving an oil slick, help! Huh. Oh, Donald! Oh, Donald! Oh! And! <laughs> what a wild, wild world. All in all, though, Crow and Joel and Gypsy, not so bad to live with. Just a bunch of fun-loving guys locked in a decaying orbit with nothing to do but watch terrible films. Funny thing is, Joel's lovable on-air persona is nothing like his day-to-day -day demeanor. Like yesterday, after recharge, Joel sat us down for his weekly attitude talks. And boy, was he a little miffed. Hey, Gypsy, there's your drive train. It's a wonder you're even moving. You left it on the shower rod. Huh? Don't you move. Huh? Listen, just because you have to have your oil changed every week doesn't mean you own that shower. Okay. <laughs> now, you, Crow. Uh-oh, here comes Listen, the prod. You left your load pans out. Uh, oh. After recharge, you know the rule. Well, it was Servo's turn to... to, uh, to, to I oh. told you, I'm not oh. doing your load. Oh. Listen, I'm not normally this way. It's just Servo's perception of me. Boy, you're really crabby. You're next, Servo. What? I found gum underneath all of the theater seats. How do you know it was mine? It was Juicy Fruit. Okay, it was mine. But you'll never take me alive, Copper. Top of the world, Ma. I could have been a contender. Stella! Stella! I woke up. You weren't there. I hate that. I'm not going to be ignored, am I? Mary, Mary, don't you know me? Rosebud, 